Hey gang, welcome back to New Vegas, specifically Honest Hearts. This episode might get cut a little shorter than the other ones, uh, since the other ones have been an hour long each. This one might get cut a little shorter, but I'm going to do some side quests in this one. But uh, the main reason is because uh, I'm waiting on my wife to come home and I'm bored, Hola, so... outsider. Welcome, child of omens. You come to receive visions of truth? I don't know what visions of truth means. Take drugs, kill a bear. Seek medicine plant. Return with sacred datura root. Receive visions of truth. They guide you. I've already got the roots you need. These roots make sacred vision tea. You drink, you see path before you. Ready? All right, let's do this. Drink. Tea is strong. Tea is bitter. Wisdom is strong. Wisdom is bitter. You see? You go to cave, find ghost of she, lay ghost to rest. This your quest. Bring peace where was strife. Go. So the take drugs, kill a bear thing is something that shows up in Wacky Wild Wasteland. Hey, thanks for the free shit. Uh, yeah, it shows up in Wacky Wasteland. The trait. It's a reference to uh, one of the memes from New Vegas, along with uh, two bears high-fiving. Because this is the first DLC where they could really start to put memes in it. Alright. God, the amount of blur is so fucking wild. God, I think I might see your guys' problems with the, with the white legs. Considering that they're this close. Alright. Are you serious? God damn. I have seen many strange plants in the valley. Keep up, Waking Cloud. All right. Sorry, I just kind of had to focus in on there to make sure she wouldn't die. That would have been irritating. All right. So what do I have here? I've got another lever action shotgun. Hey, this fits 20 gauge. I like that. All right, come here. You're taking this and this. And I want to keep my caravan shotgun. See, like, I wish that I could, um... That's a great weapon, but man, that is really heavy. I'm not going to carry that around. I didn't mean to pick that up. Okay. I'm going to have to start using some more of these. Because I keep holding on to them and that's not going to fly. If something of mine will help you, take it. I hope you would do the same for me. Here, I'll give you that, but no grenades. There we go. God damn it. Keep throwing shit out of my inventory. The amount of crack that I'm on is honestly pretty impressive. Alright, there we go. Is this a dead end as well? It looks to do nice. Looks to be. How do I 
Lunchbox. Oh, I'll take it all. Just give it to me. I'll just keep throwing things until they're gone. I really should have picked strong back instead of whatever I got. Dude. I know you are Oh, she's fine. She's got more health than she's supposed to be able to, in fact. In that case, that was a pretty effective uh, grenade use there, if I do say so myself. And you know what? I do. Man, bring me some guys. I want to try this out. God, the blur effect, though. Do a quick little save. See, it was in the middle of this mission that I realized that I uh, wasn't recording, that I had forgotten to record. I think I, like, fell down there. I'm going to have to take a circuitous path. Oh, God. The blur is really... The blur is really not working for me. God, just imagine... It's a good job that they got all the women and children out already, because if they just got the most dangerous man in the wasteland just cracked out of his mind on drugs and then we're like yeah just go run around who cares you know just just go fucking crazy out there am i going to be able to fast travel on on this much meth damn fuck on the other hand i don't seem to be able to fast travel out of this canyon at all so is that a man's voice? Yeah, I'm gonna need a doctor's bag it up. Hey, it's Joshua Graham. By the rivers of Babylon, there we sat down. Yea, we wept when we remembered Zion. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it even to the foundation. O daughter of Babylon, who ought to be destroyed. Happy shall he be, that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be, that taketh and dasheth. I remember my sister reading that line and being like, "What the heck?" In uh, in Bible school. Know what it means. You don't want to leave Zion. You'd rather kill every last one of them. Given those two choices, yes. In the best of all possible worlds, they would just leave us in peace. But they won't. I don't enjoy killing, but when done righteously, it's just a chore, like any other. Practiced hands make for short work, and the good Lord knows there's much to be done here. Why are you talking to me about it? Daniel and I don't agree on everything, but in our hearts, we both want what's best for the sorrows and dead horses. You've seen what the White Lakes do, and I think you know what has to be done. If Daniel hears it from someone other than me, well, Zion may not be lost to us after all. I need to think about it. Of course. Think on it and look in your heart. The light of the mind alone cannot dispel the whole world's darkness. So yeah, he's like, yo... Genocide? You know? What you saying? Because I'm thinking genocide. And I'm like, I don't know about that. I don't know about that, Josh. I'm not sure if that's, you know, a good step one. And then he's like, oh, no, I, I know, I know. But this is like step 50 now, you know? A lot of stuff going on behind the scenes. I am always a little sad to leave the narrows. I'm happy to so, yeah, it's it's kind of weird. It's a very honest question of Joshua to the player of like, will you help me convince my friend to commit genocide on a whole group of people? So naturally, you can. I mean, I could have walked in here and shot uh, what's his face in the head. Um, oh, 
God, what is his name? Follow Struck. I could have I could have run in here and shot Follow Struck in the head right the first second I got here. And it would have started a separate quest line called Chaos and Zion, I believe, where you just have to kill every single one of them. And boy, is that a whole thing. Not easy. Especially considering that Joshua fucking Graham is on the list. Fucking Yao Guai? Oh, right. I'm on the, the quest. Right, 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 right. Um. That. That. I'm on the Yao Guai killing quest. You know, I think I'm going to get my uh, Yao Guai Hunter badge today. Holy shit, there's a lot of them. Oh boy, there's a lot of them. Is this even real? Is is am I really being attacked by this many Yao Guai? This seems impossible. Um I mean, it could be a fact that, like, the drug I'm on actually attracts them. Because there have been some weird exam examples of that. But on the other hand, uh... It could also just be that I'm so cracked out on my, you know, Yaogwai Hunt and Vision Quest that... I'm just hallucinating all of these. See, this is what I wanted. I, I, I want... <laughs> I want my Fallout DLC experience to be indistinguishable from a Cabela's game. I want to just go through and mow down every single motherfucking mammal and in the in the universe. Okay, head into the cave of she. I love I love referring to things like that just like there's a uh, one of the best Guilty Gear themes is Justice's theme from the very first. So, this is the ghost of She's Lair. It's like, okay, here's Ghost of She's Lair. Here's your house. You all live in here. I was never brave enough to try to find it. What the hell is? Oh. This one is mine. I like what? Well, that's a lot of things on my. Oh my God. Okay, that's not going to happen. Okay, that appears to be when I'm still cracked out on drugs. Okay. Oh god, where am I? Fuck. Alright, guess we're going this way again. Talk to Mr. Joshua Graham. Although that means that I can take this path and not break my legs. Caravan lunch. Cram, instant match, lunchbox, and pork and beans. Oh, pleasant. Are you quite alright, dear? She's good. Okay, she's good. So because I wasn't recording that one time, this will be the third time I've heard Mr. Graham's dialogue. Dead horse. So yeah, at any point, you can just start killing them all. Oh, wait, is he not going to show up? Oh my god, right, I have to go through here. No, I don't. I have to go through this cave. The, the amount of blur is ridiculous. Like, remember when Half-Life 2 Episode 1 came out? Oh, boy, am I... God, I'm all the way back here. Father, I ask that you guide this man Holy head. shit, how turned around did I get him? Show him the light of your wisdom. Wait, what the fuck is happening? I'm so confused. Because all these guys are already dead. 
Will I have already talked to Joshua? Or this is this is one of those weird time travel things. Will I have had already talked to Joshua, I think? Or maybe I'm just getting a contact high and I'm confusing myself needlessly. Glass Chime Cave. Oh, fuck. Huh. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, this is where I should meet Joshua, right? I was already fucking going this way. I am so lost. <laughs> Why can't I just quick travel out of here, Jay Sawyer? What would be so bad about that? I don't know why everyone is so against quick travel. Like, I think the only game that handles difficult quick travel well is Dragon Age 1. Because in Dragon Age 1, occasionally, while quick traveling, you will get into a random battle on the road. Which coincidentally is also how the first Fallout handles it. By the rivers of All right, let's do one of those. I'm actually doing some damage this time. That's cool. The fact that he's decided to, for whatever reason, use melee against me is probably helping me out a great deal. I want to see if it's even possible. Oh, he's moved away from me. You know what that means. Holy shit, he's so tough. This guy's fucking crazy, by the way. Okay. Let's switch over to this. Is this better? This is 13 damage. This is 18. God, his damage rating is so high. <laughs> or damage threshold, rather. And he's breaking my armor, too. Wow. It can be done. It can be done. Well, anyway. Yeah, like... Oh, God. Game crashed. <laughs> okay, let's open her up back again. Yeah, like, considering... <laughs> isn't... Ain't that just a kick in the head, you know? I feel like that's probably the most apt way for that to end. Just like Joshua was like, oh, you killed me in another life? Boom. It's telling me how damage threshold works because I tried to kill Joshua Graham. God, I kind of want to kill Joshua Graham. Because he is trying to redeem himself, but I'm still not sure if he's ultimately a good person or not. Maybe I'll do it at the very end of the DLC, you know? Once he's sure that... Because the thing is, I, I want to have the best of both worlds. I do want Joshua's shit. 
but I also want my own like playthrough to get the good ending. Oh God. You know, I don't think it's going to load. Well, uh, that's been this episode of Fallout New Vegas. I hope everyone enjoyed that. Hey, everybody. I'm Alfred. Uh, welcome back to uh, New Vegas. Okay, cool. So, yeah, we're back here. I'm high off my ass. And we're attempting to find our way out of this valley. Uh, it's been a few days since I last played, but that's all right. Oh my god, I'm so fucking cracked out. <laughs> this is really bad to start on because I feel so fucking drugged. Oh my god, I can barely see. Because <laughs> last time, this happened after I had been playing for several hours uh, back to back. Most of these were done back to back, in fact. It's going to be two large sessions, I think. That's going to be the uh, way that I get this across. <sighs> okay. Oh, boy. Whoops. Um. Yeah. Why can't I shoot the gun? Okay. Okay. It now works. Well. Uh, game crashed. Hey, we're back. So yeah, uh, game crashed again. So that was cool. Luckily, I got a little further that time. So maybe this time I'll get even further. -er. I should just start saving every few minutes. That would probably be wise. Because I feel like I shouldn't have to save this much, but yeah, no. Good old Bethesda games, though it's also partially my fault. I am trying to render shit right now. Nothing serious. I'm just multitasking while I'm awake. I feel like I don't have very much of my day, um, which isn't the truth. Here, Wing Cloud's with me. Got Cazadors and Gek. Oh. All right then. Oh boy. I'm just fucking methed out of my mind. Ugh. <sighs> Just got to get this XP. Give us, oh lord, our daily gecko egg. Oh, man. So, yeah, I'm, uh... I'm only a little bit into New Vegas, and I already want to start playing it again. Which I think might be a new low, like... I, uh, someone might have seen, but, uh, on this, I'm only a little bit into the main quest. Like, I barely started it. I, uh, I just got to Novak in the main quest and completed the quest that Manny wants me to do. That's where I'm at in the main quest. And yet I'm already like, man, I should restart. I learned a lot of the exploits that I didn't know prior.
Okay, so if I'm close, I can get them in two. God, why are Yao Guai so huge? They're like massive. Do I have low limb health? I do, in fact. Why don't I just pop one of those? There we go. Oh, great. And there's a Cazador as well. Okay. Much better. Let's uh, quickly save. I need to restore my limb health like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, I guess that'll do. Oh, wait, don't I have the better things? One, da, 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 da. Healing poultices, yeah, I do. Yeah, why are so cool? Okay. I'm quick saving constantly, I know, but Okay, go time. She Oh, for fuck's sake. Is this even possible? My skills lie elsewhere, but I will do as you bid. I'll give you room to... Okay, maybe that'll work. I noticed that you're still following me here. If something of Oh, for <gasps> No. Oh my fucking god. <sighs> quick saving instead of quick loading. Hardy flooping har. Okay. Maybe I'm supposed to do this alone. Or maybe she just sucks, but, you know, we're going to talk to her. Yeah, wait all the way back here. Now I will quick save. And then I'll do a hard save after I kill these Yaoguais. Fifty-five XP is not bad. Like per fella, that's pretty solid, I must say. Okay. Doing a lot better on the whole health front. Do I have any better weapons that I could take on with this thing? Oh. I 
Uh, those uh, 27 frag mines certainly changed my tune a little bit. I think Arizona Tex is going to get a little sneaky here. Okay, now as long as I don't walk into those, it should be fine. Now, my explosive skill is not fantastic. But it's not nothing as well. I have put some points into explosives. So why don't we just see how it goes, huh? If nothing else, this will free up some of my weight. I bought all of these for a reason. And it was either that or Joshua Graham. Get at me, you fucking ghost bear. Okay, where's she at? She's here. Oh, well. Yeah, okay. Funny. All right, I guess those are uh, for... Uh, I'm saving those for Joshua Graham, then. Uh, let's take some drugs. And then... Hmm. I don't know. Drugs will be fine, I guess. Let's see if I can actually shoot at it blind. Because I've got it... I appear to be doing damage, yeah. Okay, yeah, this is going much better. Hell yeah. Nice. Yeah, go I'm eating the paw. Okay. Yeah, that one much better. Uh, let's eat some of my rego foods. Boom, boom. That'll do 20. That'll do 14. And then that'll do 100. It should do 134 all in all. Hey, it was easier without you. Follow me. Like, staggeringly easier, in fact. Now, if nothing else, let's get this fucking fog off my screen so I don't have to slum it with it, you know? Any chance I can quick travel back? I can. La-dee-da, look at that. White bird, talk to me. It's done. Then visions of truth are at an end. Will you learn from truth? Maybe yes, maybe no. And then after that, we're going to do some side quests for Daniel. Here, take, give. Or sell to Curio Trader. Use well. Or sell to Curio Trader. Either way, as much about you. All right. So let's take a look at that thing. She's Embrace. It's 10 pounds. But it does a lot of damage. And as is, I don't currently have a melee weapon, so. All right. Smoke and deal. So I learned as well that there is a perk that I could take. I forgot about this thing, actually. Um... There's a perk that one can take that allows you to repair things that normally you wouldn't be able to. Uh, I believe it's called Jury Rig. And if that's not available yet, then I need to get a uh, Sneering Imperialist because I am, I've am i decided to crush the white legs, save Daniel, 
and then uh, kill Joshua Graham just to mix it up. Let him rest, you know? So let's grab one of these. Okay. All right. World map. This should be a good place to start. So, Yao Guai's. That's good. I like killing Yao Guai. Lots of experience available then. No, it's a one way. <laughs> Uh, you good, Cloud? May I call you Cloud, actually? There was something I actually wanted to read from uh, J.E. Sawyer. Ooh, white legs. Oh, so an interesting... So, I've seen the word sapper, like, thrown around a lot in um, video games as just, like got debuffer essentially but as it happens that's actually a real word uh used uh i know it from the french military if something of mine will help you take it i hope you would do the same for me okay hopefully she won't try to use that yeah, eight pound fire axe i don't know lighten the load a little bit my medics finally wore off. Neat. But yeah. I killed worse. Let's get to work. Yaogwai cave. Won't you grave? Okay. So that appears to be where that leads. So what about these? All of those are outside. Okay. So I'll quick travel to here. And then I'll head this way and we can clean up the Yaogwai. Nice. Nice. So I don't know if I've mentioned this before, but most Bethesda games, playing them on hard mode isn't really the hard way to play it just changes the amount of time before it gets really easy because at some point in basically every bethesda game you just get so overpowered like even in fallout or skyrim like that still happens you just get completely completely out of control Ooh, nice wait that was it um Actually, wait, let's bring that down to there. Nice. Cool. I don't even know what that was. Wasn't I supposed to blow up a cave? Rite of Passage, River Monsters. Okay. So where does this take me? Here now. <laughs> 
All right, then. The river is lovely at this time of year. You know what, Wagon Cloud? You're right. Those tents down there, white leg warriors pray. Any advice? You might rush them and take them by surprise. We would be badly outnumbered then, though. We might also use their superstition. Good to know. Let's take care of business. With her, I should be able to sneak a lot more effectively, right? Because she gives me that perk. Which means that I'm basically invisiblessed. Oh, it's a big horner. That's what I was looking at. Now I got rid of... Nope, I still have it. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's silly. Big corner meat's really important to me because it's uh, one of the things that allows me to chomp. Uh, it's one of the things that allows me to keep my weight down. Having a, a a companion who buffs you in this way by like passively debuffing all enemies around you is actually really neat. Oh, he's seen me. I'm really missing my uh, my gun. My cowboy repeater. That thing was fantastic. What do you mean, are you sure this weapon actually works? Killing him, ain't I? Oh god, I'm nearly out of everything. Let me just hit my way over there. Yeah, see those things. I love those. Oh boy. I think I'm going to need to go play a visit to Mr. Uh, Graham. And buy some of his, what is this, 12.7 ammo? Oh yeah, I've got this that I've been forgetting to use. If something of mine will help you, all right. You do the same for me. Got um my own worst enemy stuck in my head, which I th believe is by Lit. The band is called Lit. <laughs> Interesting. I didn't. I'm not sure why that's a thing. So yeah, they don't have any food. They literally just. Oh, they've got. Well, they've got two fruits, an empty bottle of soda. But yeah, they do not have much in the way of food. Pack of fags, nice, nice, nice. You take a sip from your trusty fucking canteen. I'll be honest, that thing has been th with me through thick and thin. Okay, let's, uh... These will heal me slowly but surely. I like that. Um, that's a really good one. I want to save those. Oh, I can eat these. Oh, and yeah, some of that. Perfect. Now I'll start regenerating. Cool. I wonder if I could sell that. It's really funny that the guy was like, you could sell it. It'll say something about you. Oh yeah, in case you also wanted to know how uh, early this save file is, I have not found the Gunrunners yet. As of now, I am currently yet to find the Gunrunners. 
I'm probably dragging down after this to help me uh, get my stuffs up. Wait, hold on. I can do this. Okay. Now, if she was in there, I'm gonna flip shit. Is that her? Is that... This guy's, uh, stuck? Okay, cool. Wow. Does this look cooler? Yeah, it kind of does. Sorry, dead horses. Okay. Boop, boop. Boop. Okay. Shway. Night Stalker blood, eh? Fascinating. Oh, neat. And a blowfly slider. Fantastic. Got a Yao Guai over here. I wish you could have met my family. You would like them, I think. Cool. And now we just got to bear down on whatever this is. So this quest, uh, one of the reasons I'm doing it is partially because I wanted to 100% this DLC, but also it affects the ending. Pretty significantly as well. Like it adds or removes a whole paragraph of uh, stuff. There we go. <laughs> very well. I guess I'll just miss. A very laid back episode, as I'm sure you've noticed. Yeah, I've mostly just been vibing because I'm playing uh, all the side quests. That was pretty great. All right. Let's uh let's eat one of these. And then I can find Mr. Graham and take some of his ammo. There you are, you Mother Hubbard. There you go. There you go. I'll finish this quest first, though. Can't be getting too, too distracted this early. All right. Oh, boy. Fine. I'll go the long way. So, um, Mr. Graham mentions that, uh, this gun was meant, uh, invented by a member of his tribe, like, a hundred years ago or whatever, or a couple hundred years ago by now. And he is right, uh, this thing is very clearly based off an M1911. That's what they meant. 
which you know naturally was made uh near the start of world war one I, I think okay i guess i'll take one of these Yeah, near the start of World War One. And the guy who invented it is indeed a Mormon, which is what uh, Josh means when he says a member of my tribe. He just means a Mormon. Not really seeing the angle that you guys push of uh, being a badass, indestructible warrior culture. Seeing as how you're running away. I don't even care about what he had. Okay. That'll give me 40 times 3 health. Bug stomp. Cool. And then, yeah. I'll finish this quest and go grab Mr. Graham. Jeez. Ever get mobbed by Gecko? Okay, I'll take one of these. And nectars are rare, but they are powerful. Hopefully here I can find some uh, hats to fix my hat. Sometimes I really do wonder why bottle caps are in the uh, old world suitcases and shit. It's not like they were really important then. I guess it could be that I'm just finding old ones that I know are valuable. What? God, I hate having to keep track of my health. Jeez, oh Pete. What a pain in the ass. It's a dog? It's just a regular large dog. Okay. Not too far from the next level. These quests should help. Okay, so I wasn't that far. I have seen many strange plants in the valley. Plants that seem to hunger for human flesh. Flesh. Where they come from? Because of that, I am uh, down on my geck meat. Uh, dude? What the hell? Okay. You know, my character's kind of ugly. I wish I could find, like, a good mask or a helmet or something. Alright, let's see if this works. I forgot if it did last time or what. No, well. Oh, for God's sake. You're really making this a problem, hmm?
Maybe I just need to go louder, huh? I think she might have my grenade rifle, which is irritating if true. I have killed that gecko too many times by now. Hmm. Bullshit. See, that's why normal is really weird on some in some games. Like just raising the difficulty. What the fuck? Anyway, just raising the difficulty uh, for some reason makes a, a infant uh, lizard somehow able to take a... What is this? 12 gauge or is this 20 gauge shotgun uh, blast to, uh, directly to the face? Despite how implausible and impossible that should be, you can do it. Okay, quick saving as we head into danger. I'm sure this will pay in dividends. Morning Glory Cave. Wow, I uh, I thought I was going to be fighting the uh, the mantis again. This is not what I expected. For Maybe I'll just kill her as soon as I finish her quest. For God. Hey everyone. Uh so I've uh, I've just gone through quite a big deal of things. Uh I accidentally grabbed the uh thing that I came here to get and found uh one of the caches. Oh, just these guys, huh? feel confident in this. Come on. Bring it. Don't even need my, uh, uh, what is that awe of she thing? My armor condition is dangerously low. Okay, let's actually get some food. Probably could have saved that, but whatever. And also let it be known that uh, I intended to show uh, the the thing on screen, but I just got distracted. Game is uh, not functioning well today. Nice. And I've gotten fucked over by uh, crashes a couple of times. Also by Yaogwai. Been dealing with a lot of those recently. Uh, let's crunch a doctor's bag in here. Since I broke one of my legs in a bear trap that I didn't see. Although I should have seen. Um, I don't know how badly I need a survivor's cash. Uh, I feel pretty confident without them. But I do kind of want to find them all. White legs, cool. Oh yeah, apparently these guys have dreads because they're culturally appropriating. There's another character in the DLC, Ulysses, who uh, has who you know wears his hair like that. Camel the Mojave, huh? What is that? That I have to read. Improved benefits from drinking fluids. Cool. A lot of rank ups. Feeling good. Feeling good. Let's save so I don't have to do that again. 
I love getting all these whatever the Mojave things when I'm not in the Mojave. But that's a while away. Let's disarm these traps. Crap. Launch. I've got quite a few of them, so I should be able to hold on to them pretty well. Neat. For God's sake. These fucking bear traps, man. What the? Well, at least now I haven't stepped in that bear trap yet. I consider that good. Munch on that. Like, everything's so gray and done that I can barely see anything. And I imagine that that's the intention. I feel like I've already been here. Like, if you were trying to trap a human, you would want to uh, play on things that a human would, you know, play on human frailties, like the inability to distinguish between certain shades of color. There it is. I wonder how one would go about disarming a bear trap. Because I've seen the I've seen the thing, having seen uh, Fox and the Hound, I've seen that thing where the guy just sticks a, a piece of wood in it. Oh sweet Jesus! Oh yeah yeah get it. I've been running into problems with Yao Gua y'all. They, uh, they've been, they've been bringing me strife. Nice. God, he's sitting like a people. I hate that. The Tura Root. I honestly like having high survival. It's cool, you know? Give me your steak. I need it. It's delicious. It gives me the stat bonuses I need. Where has he gone? Did that mother... Damn you. Damn you. Large Horner. Let's take care of it. I've been working on it for minutes at a time, but, you know. Yeah, now that you've caught up. How did I miss this one? you think my tootsies, being bear trap magnets, would have, you know, tripped it. Gathering storms. Not to be re uh, confused for the storm that is approaching. Ooh, yeah. Come on. Level up. Any second now. Tony. Okay. Level 18. Repair. Explosives. Junk rounds. That's cool. Hmm. 
Oh, that's interesting. That's a survival thing. God, I love this game's system of leveling up. Okay, I'm going to grab th this because of the damage bonus to people in this area. Okay. And then we'll start throwing these together. I'll take an ant nectar. What does the main quest want? Oh, that's it. In that case, I'll head back to Angel Cave, which is down here, right? Because here's the Eastern Virgin. Okay, Virgin River. Here we go, Angel Cave. It's just is a Jeshua Grim outside. What the hell? Nice. Mr. Graham. Oh, yeah, and then I think we have, like, loyalty quests, don't we? For everyone. Where is he? And then, um, yeah, some of these guys, as I say, have loyalty quests. So Waking Cloud has one. Do you have any family? I do. A fine husband and three children. I miss them each day, but I take comfort in knowing they are safe. Safe? Where are they? When we learned that Salt Upon Moons had defiled Zion with his presence, Daniel ordered the children, the old, and the sick evacuated from the camp. My husband volunteered to lead the hunters that went with them for protection. I try not to worry about them, but we have had no news for so long, and Daniel seems sad when I ask him about it. Sad and a little frightened. I could talk to him. Maybe he'll open up more to me. Perhaps he will. I s That's all I wanted to know for now. Okay. Now we just got to find uh, Daniel for things that aren't the main quest. Good job getting those supplies to Daniel. If you were a dead horse, you'd get a tattoo for that. What's this obsession you seem to have with civilization? Let me tell you a story. When I was a boy, a man came through the valley with one of the caravans. Tall man, big mustache, carried a guitar. I asked what he did for his living, and the interpreter told me he was a singer. What is that? I asked. The man explained that he went from place to place and sang for people who gave him food and shelter and care in return. I couldn't believe that there was a place in this world where a man could do that. I promised myself then that one day I'd explore that world myself. 
What does Joshua think of this? I, um, I haven't told him yet. Never had the growlings. Really? Maybe I could talk to him about it. Be a neutral party. You do that? Nothing else. Talk to you later. Go with fortune, friend. All right. Uh, let's put that on. Wait, where where is he? Oh, he's all the way here. Okay. Uh, boy. Let's get all buffed up then. I love, by the way, um, the idea of like I guess tribal equivalents of things. Oh, I'd just take it all. And now, Ant Nectar. Just to make sure I don't run out. Big Horn Steak. I need I need vodka. Some some something something stern. Ah, well, I'm maxed out. Cloud Thank you for volunteering. If something of mine will help you. You're gonna you're gonna help me out here. I will be more useful to you, travel I I will be more useful to you. Fine, guess we'll leave some of this behind. Really wish I could stack more things, but I guess I can see why they wouldn't let you. Alright, now we've just gotta get down by four. Nice. Okay. Let's boogie on to Joshua Graham then. Oh, wait. I actually wanted this. All right. Pushing me out of the way and shit. Wait, where is he? Oh, he is down here. <laughs> They're just hanging out. That's kind of rad. Welcome back. What can I do for you? Do you have anything to trade? All right. I do this to make sure that he'll have enough cash because otherwise he won't. Actually, wait. He can keep those. I don't really want them. The plasma mines were pretty good, though, so I'll hold on to them. I'll need water. I'll need those. Those are good. Those are okay. I don't need them. Hmm. And he doesn't have the ammunition that I want. Well, shoot. Let's start working our way through it all. And of course, I uh, left everything in her inventory. Yeah, I'll burn those. I know we can craft stuff with them later, but right now I can't craft anything with them, so. Might as well. All those fucking toy cars. Perfect. Much better. Um... Where's Cloud? There she is. If something of mine will help you, take it. Oh, that's where all my beer went. I was like, didn't I have a whole bunch of beer?
Mr. Graham. Welcome back. Trade with me, please. I'm gonna I'm gonna just explode. I'll miss you, caravan shotgun. Oh, he's already out. Okay. Fire axe. Hunting rifle, yeah. Oh, she had another thing. Wow. Much better. Now I'm cleaning it out. Follows Chuck. Seems like he's interested in seeing more of the world. I thought he might. It's been some time since I visited civilized places. I don't have fond memories of them. But I have always seen these places from the outside. I'd rather not influence him more than I already do. Why don't you talk to him? You know that means I'm going to encourage him to leave, right? All right. Daniel. Sorry. I'm glad to see Someone's talking. groin is in your face. Tell me about Waking Cloud's family. What, um, what do you want to know exactly? Wow. Uh, way to not be suspicious or anything. She said one of her births was difficult and you helped her through it. Did you help the rest of her family leave Zion? I did. What's the matter? Did something happen? Her three children are safe. They made it north weeks ago and met up with new Canaanites heading east. Her husband didn't make it. He died protecting their children from a white leg attack. Do not tell her. <laughs> She's one of the only sorrows who can communicate easily with us, and her tribe needs her to be strong right now. She's right there. Look, this is her crotch. This is the microphone that you're speaking into. It's her groin. It's her husband. Don't you think she has a right to know? To everything, there is a season. Who are you or I to put this heavy burden on her now? Hmm. You're the new canon I are supposed to lead these people, not hide things from them. I need some medical assistance. And some supplies. All right. Perfect. And then you can have... Lord. How about you have... A coyote hide. Until then. See you then, feller. All right. Uh, I'm going to pause the recording for a little bit, and I'm going to go find the other survivalist caches. Uh, and then, next episode should be the last one.